Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going okay. to just sit there? Right, I'm pausing the game right here. Uh, welcome back. I'm doing another little commentary look at, at a certain game. This one's Bioshock Infinite. Um, so before we get started, a couple of uh, little warnings for anyone who might want to listen. First off, there will be minor spoilers. So if you've never played the game and you want to enter it just completely free of spoilers, um, please uh, turn off this video and then hit the like and subscribe button. That was great. would be greatly appreciated. Second, um, a lot of people who watch my videos, um, I, I know personally don't like to see a lot of the blood in the gore, and there's going to be a bit of blood in what I'm about to do, or what I'm about to show of uh, Bioshock Infinite. <clears throat> and finally, not so much a warning, but more as a, um, yeah, letting you know, giving you all the information. Of all the Bioshock games, Bioshock Infinite is my least favorite. Gasp, I hear you hardcore Bioshock fan saying, but... Um, it basically boils down to two things. One is m several of the gameplay options I just didn't enjoy as much. Um, and the second one is the thing I, one of the things I really liked about the first two Bioshock games is that your decisions actually make a difference. And in Bioshock Infinite, they really don't. You have one decision to make and, yeah, really doesn't make much of a difference at all. And so that, that's pretty much the re my reasoning behind liking the first two better than this one. Um, that being said, it did have an intriguing storyline, although aspects of it were would be pro problematic. But really, you know, if you if you're just playing this game to enjoy it, yeah, might as well enjoy it and, and not worry about all the little tiny little details that some people go crazy over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what I'm going to be doing here, and this is where the spoilers are going to come in. <clears throat> so the main character playing Booker, um, and this is. Technically a spoiler, but it seemed fairly obvious to me when I started playing this. He's from a different dimension. Well, this entire game deals with different dimensional realities, and the book here you're playing is from a different dimensional reality than um, the one this game is taking place in. Um, but one of this, and this is a second spoiler, which is a much bigger spoiler, in my opinion, is that um, <clears throat> when he came through his uh, own dimensional reality to hear, it affected his memory. And one of the things that we find out pretty much by, at the end of the game is that a lot of what he perceived after he came through it were, was not real. And pr so pretty much a good chunk of the first part of the game, and we're going to play through this, is, you know, not everything that we can't take anything that he's perceiving for granted. So what this video is going to attempt to do is kind of determine, you know, what's actually happening within the game and what Booker thinks is happening, but actually isn't. Um, we can determine on a lot of these scenes, I think we can able to make a determination, but on a good chunk of them, we won't be able to tell one way or the other. Um, <clears throat> so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to set a uh, sort of ground rules that define reality here. So there are three definitions of reality I'm going to be working with. This, The first one, which is going to be kind of a duh moment here is going to be, uh, well, reality is me sitting here making this video, or you, wherever you are, watching this video. And that is kind of a dumb moment, but it does provide a very a baseline for reality, and that's very, very important when we're exploring these sort of things philosophically. Second reality is what we're going to call the uh, game's reality. That's what's actually happening within the confines of the game. And the third reality is going to be Booker's perceived reality. That's what Booker thinks is happening, but actually isn't happening. Now, to try and determine what uh, is actually happening, what is game reality and what is Booker's perception, we're going to, you know, we, we're going to keep it simple, have two criteria to do it. Uh, first one is going to be, is what is happening consi consistent with what happens later on in the game? And the second one is, is there um, confirmation of this thing of whatever it is uh, later on in the game. So consistent. So basically consistency and confirmation is what we're going to be looking at. Um, if, it do, if it meets neither of these uh, criteria, 
we, we will conclude that it is Booker's perception. If it meets both of these criteria, we will conclude that it is uh, part of the game's reality. If it only meets one, we'll conclude it could be either or. So let's go ahead and get started, take a look at um, what's happening in the game. As compared to what? All right. Standing. So standing. let's start here. So Rowing. let's see. On it. So you I can't me seem to move. OK, I don't have there. control yet. I do expect you to do all the so and why is that? Coming here was your boat. idea. My idea. I made OK, it good. I have control now. So in certain versions Rowing. of the game, no. Apparently, you can see dead bodies in the water. Um, there are a lot of uh, theories about the bodies. From being, you know, bodies that floated up from uh, Rapture or from the plane crash in the original Bioshock to um, alternate versions of the main real main character. Um, one of the things that I'm thinking is that if we take that it might just be Booker's perception. He had a very violent... Um, career he before he became he uh, what he became, no. he and ah. <clears throat> they could mean. just be essentially guilt or over all the people he's killed, over what he's done. Um, now, before we get out of the boat, let's look at the Lutesses. So, and Lutesses are a little bit easier for us to assess. So, are they behaving the way they normally behave? Yes, very much so, as when you see them moving. later on the game. He will, and. Also, a bit later in the game, they do confirm that they brought Booker here. So, Shall we conclude Lutessas were actually day. here and that actually happened. Might give so, some and they're leaving. Okay, so, Somebody meeting me here? looking at the dock, Lighthouse. Like Lighthouse actually standing. appears later in the game, actually at the uh, end of the game. So yeah, let's conclude Lighthouse does exist. It's consistent and we see it later. So. What we're going, we can start moving around and exploring now. So let's see. We can find not much in here. So we'll head towards the lighthouse. Lighthouse is real. Water's probably real. Um, those of you who played the original Bioshock, this is fairly similar to what we saw in the original Bioshock, but of course, as it is, completely different too. Like off the coast of Maine, I think it said. Okay, so let's search the barrel. What have we got? We've got Silver Eagle and Cans of Beans, which give us health. So, so this centers two interesting things. Uh, is the Silver Eagle, which is money. Um, it is consistent that we find money in strange places like garbage cans and provision things. So yeah, that is consistent with what goes on later later on in the uh, game. So yeah, the and. We can also confirm that the money you pick up here can be later spent in, in shops and at machines and whatnot. So, yeah, the money is real. Now, the can of beans is, is a different, uh, well, can of beans. Uh, it, we do find cans of beans in strange places. There's actually a part later on in the game where you find um, a potato inside a toilet. I've, yeah, so many jokes that have been made about that and so many questions it raises, but... Interesting thing about the health, though, is our health is already at the highest level it can be. So we, and we can't take food with us. We can only be healed immediately once we eat food in this game. So we can't really tell if it helps us or not. So we conclude that the coins are real that they've seen, but with the uh, cans of food. <coughs> Sorry, with the cans of beans, we can't conclude that, even though it is consistent, we just can't confirm that it is. So it could or could not be. Now, let's look at this word. It's like, bring us a girl and wipe away the debt. That is part of the main part of the game. And we discover later on the game that entire aspect of it was not real, at least not in the way that uh, Booker is perceiving it. So we can... We actually had confirmation later in the game that's, that it doesn't happen like this. So that note is not real. It's part of his delusions at this moment. And so finding Elizabeth is real, but uh, the, the threat to his life and all that is not real. So anything that we see that is a threat Excuse to his me. life is not it's real. Booker DeWitt. All right, so we go in. Me? So... Now that we're out of the rain, 
to use the base in here. Um, it is... He's basically entering a cultish community. Good luck with that, pal. With, you know, science fiction um, aspects of it. So, yeah, this is consistent with what we see later, but there's no real confirmation of it. So we have to enter this into the... May, may, maybe, but maybe not. Question. Um... Uh, what they say is also consistent with what goes on is later on, here? but like I said, Hello? we can't really confirm that, so we'll head up here. Let's see, there'll be... So we can search cabinets and get more money and some cereal, but like I said, we can't confirm the food, but we can confirm the money. So, telephone. Let's use the telephone. Yeah. Yeah, we don't... Well, maybe there is a telephone later on in the game. I don't remember one anywhere, so... We can't confirm that. And it doesn't seem to make sense that there would be a telephone there. Bed, resting... Pretty much everything we're seeing can't really be confirmed. Ah, now this mess... And the blood we see there... That seems consistent with violence, which... Means that it seems... Unlikely that this is actually happening. Although we can't confirm that. Like I said, the violence and the threat against him was not real there. So it seems likely that that's not there, but it can't, it can, we can't confirm it one way or the other. So let's go up and take a look at what's up ahead. Okay. So this is the bloody area. I'm going to turn away because I know a lot of people don't like to see that, but bo there's a body there, blood. And, yeah, we can't... I, it's extremely unlikely that that actually happened. It's inconsistent with everything that happens later on in the game, and there's no confirmation of it. So I'm going to conclude that is definitely Booker's perception. And like I said, the threat to him is now is not non-existent. There was a note on the body that basically says the same thing: "We are you're under threat." So we get to the top of the lighthouse, and very very pretty up here. So. We have to interact with the bells. And th there was a note. Card. Yep. And we ring. So we have to ring the scroll, ring the key, and ring the sword. So. so we have to do it in the correct order. So ring it twice. And now, look around. Now that is very interesting because while it's consistent with the city above the clouds that we are headed to it's actually inconsistent with everything else we see there's no nothing that makes the light shine down like that there's nothing that makes that loud noise that we see once we get up into the city so despite it being consistent with there being a city up there it seems to be inconsistent with what we know so I, I'm actually putting that on a, we just simply can't confirm it. So, there's a door supposed to open here, it's pretty soon. Ah, here we are, finally opening. And Booker just going like, what was that? So. All right, it. looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. So sit in a chair. Which, okay, I'm just going to come right on and say it. That does not seem to be a good idea. A chair with straps on it. Yeah, don't rest your arms like that. Now, this technology isn't, isn't confirmed later on, but it seems to be consistent with the technology that is up in, in the city we're about to enter. So... Three, um, two, go, to go back one. just a little bit, <clears throat> that gun he had can, can also neither be confirmed nor denied. It might have existed, but we don't see a gun like that later on, and, you know, it could just been part of his imagination. Indeed, I find it likely that he didn't have that gun with him, considering the state he was that we find out later when he, we find him. When he, uh, <clears throat> yeah, at the end of the game, basically. And now we're seeing the city of Columbia. So, yeah, all, all of that is consistent with what we see later on. So I'm going to say, yes, that stuff is all real, all there.
So he's actually perceiving this. It is consistent with what we see later on, and yeah, it's not only consistent, we see pretty much exactly that. Right? So I, I consider that both consistent and confirmed that that's what, what we see and what happens later on. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure if I'm lucid right now, but neither is Booker. Yeah. Now, on a personal level, and this is the third reason I don't like it, I'm, I'm actually a re quite a religious person, and, you know, cults make me nervous because they corrupt what, you know, my religious beliefs, and I just don't like that. I think, you know, scientists would feel the same way about someone who, you know, misuses science for immoral or horrible purposes. But, but that's just, yeah, another personal reason why I prefer the first two Bioshocks of this one. So, anyway, we're finally up in Columbia. Um, but I still, for reasons I, I will enumerate later, I still believe that Booker is essentially, you know, not everything he perceives is quite real yet. Also, I can't move. Okay, here we go. Okay, so... We can come out, see all these fun things. Uh, all the water on the ground is actually very reminiscent of the original Bioshock. Um, and, okay, yes, I can push that, and that will point to where I'm supposed to be going. Um, but we can also find things like money. That's consistent, because we can spend money later on. But I'm just going to hit it all through here without looking at all the pictures and stuff. I think it's a fair assessment. Well, it, it's not actually confirmed that what he's seen here is purely real or not. Um, a lot of what he sees now, we'll see a bit later. But it's also conceivable that Excuse what he me. saw Where am I? was... Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till judgment sorry, day. That what he sees here, he had already learned about, and so he was applying that to here. So, while it's quite likely what he's seen is real, it's also plausible it's not as real as you would think. So, we'll just get and through here quickly. On this day now we have a preacher, we, we have people praying in water. We recommit through sacrifice and, and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves so, in the sweet water. Can I duck? Okay, I'm, I'm here, so and like, low, if the let's see. Enter the circle. Is it someone new? And from the that's pretty much the first thing I ever said to you once you enter the Sea of Rapture in the original Bioshock. But. So, what's happening is that into the city. To, the to get city. into the city, he has to be baptized, is essentially what this Brother, boils the down only to. Way to Columbia is through rebirth in the so, I think partially this is true, but the other... Brother? part, And this is down to my personal opinion. We don't have real proof or evidence of this. Um... Let's see, Come and be cleansed. Hallelujah. Okay, here we are. Except baptism. Hey. So, I so I think you the baptism the part in the name of our fathers, probably the name did happen. Of our Lord. Um, however, this, the whole brothers and sisters. thing where he's but this one doesn't look clean to me. That part of it where he's being pushed down again and again, I think is part of Booker's perception. The main reason being that it leads to this flashback and this hallucination. This what do you want? We had a deal so, to it. So yes, we had a deal type thing and the hallucinations of things that might come to pass. Making it a very scary moment, but... <laughs> so, I think that was probably him knowing those events, and at least part of him knowing it, but him not remembering it, and him recovering from it. And his... <clears throat> idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. Yeah, and you have that great line, too. Um, drowning is a major theme in this game, and I think, for that reason, I think that didn't actually happen. I, and, and, you know, if you're going to let somebody in, you want them in, 
into these things as peacefully as possible, not that violent. So I'm going to say the baptism happened, but the actual appear the drowning part didn't happen, and Booker fainted essentially. And the stresses are over, and from this point on, everything he perceives is um, well within the reality of the game. So that's pretty much as far as I want to take you in into the lovely world of Bioshock Infinite. Um, like I said, I prefer the first two Bioshocks. I might do some videos on the first two Bio Bioshocks at some later point. But um, hopefully you have enjoyed this, and yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think my conclusions are correct or not, and yep, that's all. I will see you in the next video. Bye.